So let's talk about setting up a business structure for your Amazon business. And don't worry if you're not sure about what to do if you're selling in both North America and Europe. I'll detail out the process for you so that you know what to do no matter where you're selling. Before we jump into this, let's briefly return to the coffee shop reality for just a moment. The reason I am bringing this back up again is due to the fact that I see many Amazon sellers who complain and have a level of fear associated with starting a company. Remember what I told you back in the first module of this program. You are creating a business that you plan to utilize to pay you for years. Why wouldn't you set up your business so that it can actually succeed? Avoiding this process doesn't make any sense. Just as I said earlier in the program, people are happy to pay fifty, sixty, dollars or even $70,000 and beyond to open a coffee shop in a small town. But they try to start their online business for as little as possible. The funny thing is, you'll require a legal business structure to start the coffee shop, but it'll take a long time to make the money back. So don't skimp here, commit to success instead. Let me discuss what I call the business structure myths and destroy them for you to help you avoid making these common, highly mistaken thought patterns. And let me tell you, You'll hear these often. People say things like, business structure is expensive. Business structure slows me down. Business structure isn't really required. Business structure is complicated. Business structure is difficult to put together. Business structure is only needed at X level. Let's look at the reality behind these. The first myth is it's expensive. This is completely false as it only costs a few hundred dollars to set up a company in most cases. Even if it did cost thousands, it would be worth it. I mean, this is the goose that lays the golden egg. If you don't have a vehicle to do business, then you don't have a business. Secondly, the myth is that it's slow. The reality is that a new business can be set up in a matter of days, very simply. Some people will even question if you need a structure. As I've said, if you have no entity, then you have no vehicle to grow your business. Some will tell you that it's complicated to set up. Well, if you follow my process, it's 100% outsourced by experts who will take care of it, all for you for a tiny investment. Some will say that it's so, so difficult to set up when in reality there are only two to three documents required and the process of getting them together will never be repeated again. The thing I always hear is that I'll create the correct company structure when I reach X level. Well, here's the thing. The sales level doesn't matter. Why? Because you're running a business and business has certain reporting obligations no matter what level they're at. Also, when you start your business and get on the treadmill of sales and accounts, it's difficult to change everything over to another structure. In some cases, Amazon won't allow you to update your account with your new company, which will force you to start a new account, moving all your stock out of Amazon to a freight hub and then back into Amazon again. It doesn't make sense. Now, my goal in this module is not to try to turn you into an accountant. Far from it. I simply want to give you a, a base of knowledge to work from so that when you do go and seek advice, you'll know what to look out for and what to say to achieve your objectives. It's important to know that I recommend you pay for professional advice when it comes to accounting for your business. The reason is simple. You should be focusing on your business, not on keeping up with the latest accounting practices. Another important thing you really need to know is that your personal circumstances will determine many things in your business. For that reason, it's hard for me to give one-size-fits-all advice across the board. However, there are certain things that will be the same for you regardless of your circumstances. The reality is that your accounting partner will do most of the work for you. You only need to know the basics of structure and how taxes work at a basic level when you're starting out. As you become more advanced, you can invest more time learning how to become more and more tax efficient. The mistake I see many students make is that they spend so much time researching this kind of stuff instead of actually finding and importing the products that will create sales. If you've got no revenue, then you've no need to be researching this any more than what we'll share with you in this module. Also, with that said, don't be too concerned about taxes right now. The truth is that you'll only pay corporate taxes when your business is profitable. When you're starting out, the amount of tax payable you'll generate will be minimal. We're going to outsource our tax and accounting to a partner. The amount of things you need to know to account for your business is simply overwhelming and not a good use of your time. Finally, note that anything I share with you here does not constitute financial advice. The key is to seek professional advice always. With all that said, let's move on. As I've already established, your business will require an accountant. Simple as that. We will utilize our accountants differently to most business owners in that we'll give you the ability to leverage them early on to get best advice when you're starting out. 
You might wonder what's different about our process. Good question. Well, the thing about accountants is that they will account for what has happened. In simple terms, this means that most accountants will only give you advice after something has happened. Most people believe that accountants will give you advice openly, whereas the reality is that accountants will allow you to do whatever you want in your business. They'll then account for that even if you've made errors in what you've done. Key, therefore, is to be aware of this and be proactive in your approach by asking any questions you have when you first speak to your accountant. One thing you may not know is that most accountants' first consultation is free. This is typically the case as they want to take you on as a client. My advice is to have any questions you're unsure of ready and written down and ask these on your first consultation. Be sure to ask about things that you believe will happen and get a hypothetical answer from them in advance. Really, the most important thing to do right now is to make an appointment with an accountant and use their advice to help you choose the best structure for your business. They may need to charge you a small fee to dive into your personal financial situation if it's overly complicated, but typically you can get the advice you need early on with little resistance. When it comes to setting up your company structure, I actually recommend using your accountant to set up your business structure for you. Many people try to use services like LegalZoom or company formation services to do this, but in my experience, it makes sense to have the accountant you agree to work with do this for you.